It wasn't long before the real motivation for declaring martial law became painfully clear. All of the groups that Marcos asserted threatened law and order in the Philippines also threatened his stranglehold on the country. The call for democracy went against his plans to stay in power for as long as possible, and by declaring martial law, he now had no democratic limitations to hamper his ambitions. Essentially, he became a dictator along with his wife Imelda, and they enjoyed a quality of life that most Filipinos could not even hope to attain. One of Marcos's first actions after implementing martial law was to target anyone who opposed him. Students, political opponents, journalists, academics, and activists were arrested and dubbed political detainees, allowing Marcos's military regime to hold people indefinitely without needing to charge them or conduct a trial. 